Some of you may remember this person right here. This is Kevin Martin. If you remember, he did um, quite a few videos trashing the black community. And he was also rumored to be dating Tommy Lauren a couple of years ago. Some of you might remember. And you remember the video he did talking about Philando Castile, and he was trying to blame Philando Castile for his own death. And among other um, just garbage videos he did on the black community. Well, Kevin Martin, conservative, Republican, is starting to have a little change of heart and seems to be shocked and outraged at Trump's racism. And, you know, he's going to touch on several things like some of his conservative friends are now leaving Trump and going to Kamala Harris, but they are cutting ties with Trump, these black conservatives. And he doesn't know where he fits in anymore in the Republican Party. Mm -mm -mm, Y'all. I tell you, it is something else to listen to a coon act one way. Not only, I, I don't even think this was maybe two years ago. You know, we were seeing his videos because I did a video on him. And I know some of you that's been with me for a while. You remember this. Well, he appeared on Van Jones's show on CNN. And I'm going to list, I'm going to let you listen to what he said during this segment and this was july 20th 2019. okay hold on let me start the video over but you remember kevin martin i think that this this go back comment hit, hit a lot of us um that support him um it, it hit a lot of us in the gut i think and i think that a lot of us of color conservatives who support the president I talked to a lot of my friends and we're still trying to, to process. It just came out of left field. And this is probably one of the most, I don't know, one of the most controversial comments that ever came out of the White House. And so, I don't know, I'm still processing it myself. And I think that the president is putting a lot of us in a very precarious situation, people that would have supported him. I remember um, the, uh, the soccer player, Megan, she came out and she said, um, at the end of her segment, she said, you know, Mr. President, I think that you are, uh, I think that you are excluding people that may even support you. And I think what she said is completely right. I think the president has a base and he has a far right wing base. And there's a lot of white nationalists, a lot of racists, um, a lot of anti-Semites in that base. And I feel as though the president has said, OK, well, I had a small margin of African-Americans, small margin of Latinos, small margin of LGBT. So what I'm going to do is I am going to have a PR strategy um, that is um, that's going to uh, PR strategy that is going to rile up the base. And so I feel like a lot of us feel like, wow, like where, where do we fit in you know, anymore? Do we are we still welcome um, in this movement? Are we still, are people of color still welcome? So a lot of us are, are still reeling from that comment. And I will tell you. A lot of my friends um, that are black conservatives, um, a lot of them have um, jumped off the Trump train. Um, they've gone over to Kamala Harris's side. They've, they've gotten involved in her campaign and also Joe Biden's, certainly here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. So I think that if I think, but I think that if the president, uh, there's a lot of people that believed in him. There's a lot of people that believed in him. And I think that the president's got to understand that, you know, when he attacks Colin Kaepernick, uh, when he attacks um, LeBron James, Steph Curry, you're attacking the very people that the people that you say that you're trying to reach look up to as role models. And so I think that it's up to the president. It's up to the president. Do you really want to have an inclusive campaign? Do you want to have an inclusive run? Do you want to have an inclusive administration or don't you? You have to make up, you have to make up your decision, make up your mind. Now, ladies and gentlemen, did Trump ever say he wanted an inclusive campaign when you watched his last rally? Okay, no, it was very much the opposite of that. And my question is, where the hell has this guy been? Trump has said things long before now that were racist. And this one 
comment about these four uh, congresswomen is what woke him up? You know how many things he has said up until now? You know, I just think sometimes people like Kevin Martin just see what they want to see, hear what they want to hear. Trump has been very blatant with his racism from the very start, from 2016. I mean, if you didn't know Trump from his New York days like me, um, you may not know, but the ones that have been watching him on the campaign trail, I mean, if you remember, a lot of us were talking about how his campaign looked like a Klan rally and still does, you know? Where was he? What 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 took Kevin Martin so long to wake up? You know, he sounds like he's starting to wake up, but just listening to him, I'm I don't I'm not sure if he's quite there yet. You're going to have to be the judge of this. But ladies and gentlemen, I just don't understand. This is why I don't understand black Republicans. I don't understand how you can live in a country full of racism on a daily basis. It's not like this stuff is not in plain sight and you can ignore all of that and cleave on to the Republican Party anyway. Ignore all of the killing, all of the rants, all of the racism online. You can just block all of that out like it's not there and jump on the Trump train as if, you know, you are, it, it just tells me you're, you're purposely going out of your way to see no racism when it's there in your face. So look like Kevin Martin here feels like he's getting a wake up call, but what took you so long, Kevin, you know? And the way you were talking a few years ago, you sound like you didn't want nothing to do with the black community. You were distancing yourself and even folks called you out online and you kept right up with all of that, you know, just blatant ignorance when it came down to the black community. And it amazes me now you are feeling the pain. It took you all this time. Trump is, what, three years into his presidency? And he's just, it's almost like somebody came and turned the light switch on him. You know, I, I'm always weary about people that take so long to wake up. But you heard it from himself, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, tell me what you think. You know, y'all, some of y'all been following me from the beginning, you know, I, I've been at this, you know, probably not as long as some other YouTubers, but since 2016. And I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But my subscribers always know exactly how to see this thing. So I'm definitely going to be looking at your comments but tell me what you think. What do you think of these Kevin Martin types that are among us in the black community? They know all of the killing and harmful things that are done to us, but just walks past it like it's wallpaper and act as if nothing is happening when it's happening right in their face. Or they try to blame everything that happens to somebody like Philando Castile, blame his murder on himself. What do you think about black people that do that? I'm going to leave that up to you um, for the comment section, but I think it's an interesting turn of events, but I can tell you one thing for sure. Personally, I would never trust Kevin Martin 100%. You know, I would never trust him at all. I would always wonder, when are you going to flip again? Are you really with your community? 
or you just feeling a little offended right now, but you're not really fully with us. Tell me what you, you know, please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.